hope everyone's doing really good. Taking good care of their bodies, listening to their bodies, resting, sleeping. If you need to sleep, crying if you need to cry. Um, the body knows what it needs. And right now I think a lot of people just need a lot of rest and just uh, self-care. So let's see what's going on with the collective consciousness today. And of course take what resonates. Okay, right now I have the Seven of Swords that was pulled in reverse, which can mean a lot of different things, so I'm going to wait until I pull a few more cards to... Um, go deeper. But really what I think it is actually, um, what it has to do with is, um, yeah, okay, yeah, see we have the Eight of Swords here. This is going to be a deep reading. Alright, so the Eight of Swords, what this actually has to do with is that we're getting away from something, okay? This is going to be deep, but we've been in bondage for a really long time. The bondage of our minds. An inability to be able to move forward. We have the full card in reverse. Um, and I think that this is associated with the age of Aquarius, which is uh, coming in um, by the end of the year. And uh, the sign of Aquarius is the so we're here. moving into uh, a time. I can't talk and shuffle at the same time. Hold on. We're moving into a new paradigm. There's a paradigm shift happening where we are moving out of service to self and into service to others. So, and I think that this, for any of you know me, who know me, um, you know that um, I believe that we should all be working from a space of love, a heart-centered space, because if we were all to do that, then we would all expand so much quicker. And I feel like humans have been uh, delaying their expansion process because they've been so self-centered and so egotistical. And egotistical doesn't necessarily mean like Freud's egotistical. It just means um, being not awake or um, not self-accountable. So we're moving away from these uh, self-restricting ideologies that nothing is ever good enough. This competitive, capitalistic brainwashing that we've been enduring for so long. All right, let's see what else is going on. <laughs> yes, and we're building a new foundation. We're planting new seeds, and we're going to see new, new seeds sprout. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. More abundance more abundance will be coming. Um, we've been getting it in our own way for a very long time. Whoop, this one just popped out. Here we go. All right, we have the Two of Cups and we have the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords says self-preserve and we have the Two of Cups, which to me indicates that in the future there's going to be more teamwork. This is a beautiful reading, you guys. I love this. I don't want it to last too long, but I swear I could keep pulling cards. It's a beautiful thing. Alright, so we have the Justice card here, which brings balance. We're coming into balance. We have the Chariot card here, movement forward. And we have the Magician card here, 
we're going to be more cognizant of our decisions as a collective consciousness moving forward. This is a great reading. It started off like not so good. Like these cards are not, they don't look very happy. It's not a big deal, but, um, but this is a really great reading and I'm really happy about this. And I think I'm going to end it right here and we're just going to do a flower wisdom card because those are so fun. So keep listening to your body. Remember that there are a lot of shifts going on right now. Um, and you just want to be prepared and ready for the new beginnings that are coming into being. The new paradigm. The new energy. Alright, spirit, give me a card. What's going on? What do you need? What do we need to hear? Hmm? Oh, that's a good one. All right, so far we have I am highly disciplined. That's a great card. It goes right along with the magician card, being a, um, an intentional manifester, somebody who is intentional about what they're doing, somebody who has mastered themselves and cr can create their own future. You have to master yourself before you can master your world and then help people master their world. Um, let's do an angel kindness card. Because my mama bought me this deck and they're so special. We got it? Give a shout out. Shout out, mama. Thank you. All right. Let's see what's up. All right, we got two that flew out. Okay. Um, life isn't always easy, but a positive attitude mixed with prayer and gratitude will determine how quickly we overcome difficulties. And, I like this card. Lifting the spirits of others will do the same for you. Compliment others, put their insecurities to rest, remind them they are worthy of love and respect. I think that this coincides with what I was saying earlier in re with regards to how we are moving away from a service to self and into a service for others uh, energy. Of course, you need to take care of yourself first before you can serve to others. Um, but that is still a beautiful card that I think that really wraps it up pretty well. and. Um, uh, like this card says, life isn't always easy, but a positive attitude mixed with prayer or meditation um, and gratitude will determine how quickly we overcome difficulties. But gratitude is so important. You create your own reality with your thoughts, your words. So if you if you have gratitude in your heart, you're gonna you're going to attract that into your life. Um, you're gonna attract beautiful things into your life. Um, yeah, I hope that you guys are doing really good. Yeah, self-care, listen to your body, all that stuff, dance, you know, sing some songs, you know, play with your dogs, your cats, all that fun stuff, all right? I love you guys. Take care.